In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly make an oblique or slanted font from a regular one. Note that oblique is not the same as a true italic. Italics may be slanted, but they're also individually drawn in more of a handwriting style. Let's get started. First, open the regular font, the one you want to make an oblique version of. The font table will appear. Now, click on Tools, Action. This brings up the Actions dialog box, and in it you want to select from the Contour drop-down menu the Slant variation. In this option, you'll have the choice of Slant Angle, Slant Direction, and origin point. You can change those any way you want to, but be sure to click the Apply to Entire Font checkbox down in the lower left. Once you've done that, you can click OK, and then Yes, and uh, Type Tool will perform the conversion in a few seconds. Next, let's apply the appropriate style and rename the font. Click on the Font Info button at the upper left, or in the menu bar, choose File, Font Info. This brings up the Font Info dialog window, and in the Names tab here, you can see we have a bunch of different names for the font. If you want this font to appear to the operating system and applications as an italic font, then check the Font is Italic checkbox. Then check or click on the Build Style Names button, and finally on the Build Names button. This will automatically make all the names correct for your new font. All you have to do then is click Apply and OK. Finally, we'll generate the font file. Click File, Generate Font from the menu bar. This brings up the Generate Font dialog window, and in it we will first want to change the name of the font file so that it doesn't conflict with other file names that might be on the system. Then we'll select a destination, uh, just chosen the desktop in this particular case, and we'll choose a font format from among the ones offered. And then finally we'll just click Save, and voila, you're done. Now just install this new font on your computer and you're in business. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at support at fontlab.com.